guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing this one brand makeup tutorial using all of this UK brand called Technic. So recently they reached out to me to see if I wanted to do a one brand tutorial for you guys. And of course I wanted to, I guess, reach out to more of my UK followers and I wanted to create this super affordable makeup look for you. Um, really simple to do. I think it's a very like daytime glam kind of appropriate look. You could definitely wear this at nighttime and you can add a few extra colors and products in there to kind of spice up the look a little bit more but I'm serving up today some chocolatey goodness realness it is amazing I love how it turned out and of course it's got a little bit of glitter in there as well so it makes it that extra bit more fabulous so if you're interested in seeing how I created this look then just keep watching so I'm starting out with a highlighter technically, but I'm using it as my primer today because I'm going for that really nice bronzy glowy skin and eyes. So this is a um, liquid highlighter and I'm just going to pop this all over the face and just blend it in with my fingers. If you like that illuminated base, you will love this. Now I'm going to be using a, um, this is like a cream palette. It's supposed to be for, I guess, foundation and contouring and highlighting. Um, personally, I am usually not someone who uses a palette with um, you know like a cream foundation um, it definitely needed to be set it is a little bit um, heavier on the skin but I found that the coverage was really nice it blended out really really easily and it was very buildable and easy to work with I chose to blend it out with a brush just because I wanted more coverage naturally but you could do it with a beauty blender or fingers if you like but I found with brushes it just blends out super super easy then I'm going to use this really light color to highlight underneath the eyes and around the face and I'm gonna use the darkest color in the palette just to contour so you can see where I've put all of the highlighted areas so just around the under eyes around the face down the nose on the cupid's bow on the chin you know the usual situation when it comes to highlighting so I'm blending that with a beauty blender and for the contour I honestly didn't have the patience to blend it out with a beauty blender so I went in with a brush and it blended it out really really nicely because we're working with cream and cream it blended perfectly together now I am gonna set that with um, the same palette but it's a powder version. So I'm taking this really light color and I'm just gonna set my under eye area and that's just going to set that cream in place. Honestly, when you use a cream palette, it has to be set, otherwise it is gonna crease like crazy. So definitely set it with any kind of powder. Now I'm gonna take this slightly more yellow tone powder and I'm just going to blend that all over the rest of my face again, just to set it so it doesn't budge. And I'm gonna pop this over the contour area as well. I'm gonna go in with a darker powder to further deepen that contour. Tour. So I will say that these darker colors in the palette are extremely pigmented as you can see what's going on right now. <laughs> um, I blended it out with a big fluffy brush just to further blend it into the skin but they are very pigmented so just please be light handed. I'm just going to pop that around the rest of my face and the forehead, temples and cheeks just because I'm not using blush today. I'm going for that bronzy look. Then going back in with that liquid highlight I'm using um, again just fingers with this. I found it really pushed it into the skin quite nicely and this is such a beautiful highlight. It's definitely something that is a little bit more subtle than what I'm used to but it looks really beautiful and it looks almost like a lit from within kind of look I really really like it um, it was very easy to use and it didn't look heavy on the skin it looks again very very natural so I'm just gonna pop that on the cheekbones and down the center of the face and I am filling my brows in today with this kit now I'm mixing together those two colors that I just pointed to and I'm just going to put this on the brows I'm gonna overdraw my brows just a little bit um, honestly I don't really have patience for powder it definitely took a a little bit longer when um, you know when I was filling them in but I do find that powder can look a little bit more natural than a pencil or a pomade um, then going back in with the powder contour kit and I'm going to put that uh, kind of caramel shade into the crease area and this is going to be our transition color and then going in with that darker bronze color and I'm going to put that straight into the socket and these two colors in this palette are so beautiful as eyeshadows I found that they make a really nice combination and they're super easy to blend as well I was really impressed with the quality of those now this is another eyeshadow palette that I'm going in with these are baked shadows and I'm taking this coppery red color and I'm gonna take it on my finger I found that I had a little bit more luck with my finger than I did with the brush so just to get a little bit more pigment I'm just gonna press that all over the lid using my finger 
I did use a small brush just to blend it on the lower lashes though, so just a little bit of pigment on the lower lashes is all I wanted. So I'm going to take that same shade and then I'm going to take the warmer, darker bronze colour and I'm just going to blend that um, coppery red colour out just so it's nice and smoky. And then I'm going to take the lightest colour in the palette. It's a little bit more silver than I thought it would be, but it still worked quite well as an inner corner and brow bone highlight. I was just very, very light handed. And this is what I was most excited for. This is the glitter liner. It's in the color bronze and I'm just gonna pop this all over the eyelid I had totally different plans for this, but they didn't really work out But I was actually really happy with how it turned out It just looked like a really nice shimmery eyeshadow I'm gonna pop that on all over the lid and on the lower lashes now I am using this um, mascara. It's called Lashitude. I think that's how you pronounce it These I discovered has little tiny fibers in them So if you like a really nice defined lengthy lash, this is definitely the mascara for you again it's a little bit more natural for my liking but it's good for an everyday mascara but I did pop on lashes which weren't from the company so I didn't show them um, but I am going in with this lip kit this is a really fun way to I guess test out new colors you can mix your own and this one is in the color show me the honey which is the neutral palette so I'm just gonna mix a couple of different colors in the palette and I'm just gonna customize a color that I liked the bottom lip was a little bit too nude for me so I added a little bit more of the darker pink in it to make a little bit more of a custom color but that is pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i will see you guys in my next video bye guys